Hi, I'm Benavator, and recently I got an Arduino clone. It is not the actual Arduino made by the real people who make Arduinos. It is a fake Chinese Arduino. It's a copy. The reason why people get these is because they're very significantly cheaper. As you can see, it's only $4 for one plus $2 for shipping, which is a really excellent price. And if you did get different versions, you can get them for even less. So the issue that many people are having is uh, with something called bootloader because if you have a piece of hardware like this but it has no firmware on it it can't communicate with anything so it's it's fully functional but it just doesn't like it has the ability to function but it doesn't have the correct software built into it to run it so it's just it's a paperweight but this uh, this is not a paperweight this device can be programmed it's just uh, not exactly how you'd think. So um, what happens is you buy this and by the way uh, you plug it in via a micro, not micro, mini USB which is right next to the red button. This is what it looks like. So here's what happens. You open up the Arduino software which I'll open up for you. By the way a link for this will be in the description the Arduino software even though it's really easy to find but still. What you do is you have it plugged in, mine's plugged in right now, and you will have a red light on, that means that signifies that it's on, and you will have a blinking yellow light. So what happens is uh, you will click upload. It will click upload like this, and it will take a really, really long time to compile sketch, and eventually it will say uh, error could not compile sketch, or whatever, it could not upload to this it can it cannot communicate with the Arduino your computer cannot upload anything to the Arduino no scripts no nothing it will just take a really long time and then eventually give you an error message See, it takes a really long time because it just keeps trying and trying, but it can't manage to download it. <coughs> <coughs> so, uh, so how do we get past this? It won't let you download anything to the Arduino. No scripts, no nothing. Nothing can be downloaded to it. So, uh, eventually, instead of yelling at the manufacturer, oh, your product doesn't work, blah, 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 which you should be extremely reluctant to do because most likely it's something on your side not this huge manufacturer who likely has their shit together. So you, I scrolled down and I noticed uh, select the COM port. So what exactly does that mean? Well what that means is you go into the start menu right here, you go into control panel, you go into hardware and sound, and then device manager. Any way you can get to device manager. Now that you're in Device Manager, you go to Ports, COM, and LTP, or LPT. You expand it, click on the arrow, and right here it is, 
COM4 USB serial CH340. And notice that's exactly how the, uh, the eBay thing says it. That's how it communicates CH340, CH340. But it's on COM port 4. And notice when we g open up Arduino, you go to Tools, make sure that your board is the correct board. Uh, this one is the thing. Arduino Uno, there can be the Arduino Nano, and there's tons of different Arduinos. So make sure it's selected to Arduino Uno. And notice by default it's using COM port 1, but that's not the one that the Arduino is on. As you can see, the Arduino is on COM port 4. So select COM port 4. Now that COM port 4 is selected, we can upload this default script. Click upload, which is right here. Compiling sketch, uploading. Done. Just like that. Really quick, that is how you do it. Uh, it should work perfectly fine. All that you have to do is make sure that it's communicating with the correct port because by default, I guess it doesn't use the same port. It can't automatically configure itself. You have to do it on your own. So I really hope this helped you. There really isn't enough... Uh, information about these uh, types of Arduinos. Uh, most of the information is on the regular expensive Arduinos and I am not willing to pay that much for something that shouldn't be that much. If I can get it for six dollars I'm not gonna pay thirty for no particular reason. I understand it's supporting them all that jazz but come on how much is that stuff marked up really? The point is is uh, there's not enough information on how to deal with these Chinese Arduinos and this is how I managed to fix my problem. Hopefully this helped you, hopefully this is, fixes your problem as well. Uh, I know these things can be frustrating, I will try my best to help you if you leave a comment, but I can't guarantee I'll fix all your problems. I hope this helped you, peace.